Good evening, Liam here, and welcome to another new series. Um, I decided to do a FIFA series in which we would predict uh, next week's or future results, and that's exactly what I'm doing right now. I'm going to go into three games this uh, this episode: two Champions League games and one Premier League game. I left my list over there, so I'm going to grab it. Um, I've put down to play the Barcelona Man City game, um, the Borussia Dortmund and Juventus game, and the West Ham vs Sunderland game. So, as I said, two uh, Champions League games and one Premier League, and we'll just see how those um, those results reflect on on real life. So, I thought that'd be quite fun, and perhaps put some bookies odds up in the uh, around the screen somewhere. Uh, you'll see them thereabouts sooner rather than later I'll pop that up there and we'll go ahead and jump into the game Whew, come on <clears throat> okay we've got Pedro, Messi and Neymar leading the line, Busquets um, central with Iniesta and Rakitic, that's an insane team, we shouldn't have um, too much of a problem I hope, let's go, go 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 Try and swing a ball in. Not got the tallest team, but anything can happen with that uh, little magician up front. Oh! I didn't even see who that was. I think it might have been Iniesta, wasn't it? Um, messy. You can do this, buddy. Oh, forcing a save there. Top, top keeping. City corner. As I say, we haven't got the tallest team in the world, so um, don't want to be giving too many of these away. What was that? Come on, collect, collect, collect. Ah. Keep going, Iniesta. Come on, lad. Oh, Jesus Christ! Messi going in for the diving header there. I think <laughs> almost, uh, almost connected. Try and play a bit more attacking if we um, push up that side over there. Come on, keep going, lad. Oh, Jesus Christ, who was that? Neymar hitting the outside of the post there. Lovely through ball from Rakitic. Slightly off balance by the looks of things, but Jesus, that was a Lovely ball in for Messi. Messi has to get on the end of this. And he puts it past Joe Hart. Or is that Caballero in goal? I can't see who's starting. I can't see who's starting. Beautiful through ball there. Now it's Joe Hart. Beautiful. And it was the man himself. He had to be on the score sheet for me somewhere along the line. Don't let them swing it in, that's dangerous. Jesus Christ, come on! Well in, well in. Rakitic out to Pedro out wide, all on his own. You can cut inside, maybe. Ah, oh, Rakitic loses it on the edge of the box, collected again by Busquets. 
God knows what that was from Busquets. I wanted to play it into the box. Lovely ball on. Neymar, free. Another ball free. Messi has to score, doesn't. Joe Park palming it out. Clawed away by his defence. And pressure's off with a Man City free kick. There we go. There we go, guys. 1-0 victory to Barcelona. Fairly realistic result. Um, we can see how that compares next week when we do the other fixtures. Let's have a look at the stats. 7-3 shots. Shots on target, 6-2. to two. Possession, City having slightly more um, up there. Um, doesn't mean everything. Let's go ahead into our next game, which is the Borussia Dortmund versus Juventus game. There we go. How do they compare on paper? 80 attacking. Juventus with the 79 attacking. Midfield at 80, equal. Defence fairly equal, 82 to 80, but we know who's having the better season in real life. Um, there we go. Borussia Dortmund versus Juventus. Here we go then, guys. The yellow wall before us. The biggest, most passionate fans possibly on the planet. Two extremely close games in the Champions League. Um, couldn't really have got much closer in my opinion. Both both of these teams could go through. Um, both have terrific teams. Squad depth. And we we all know that Borussia aren't having the um, the best of seasons in the uh, in the Bundesliga, but that doesn't go to say that you what you can uh, what you don't achieve in the league you don't achieve in in the Champions League. It's it's a weird competition and things can happen. Um, but the same goes for for City and Barcelona. City are very capable of knocking out Barcelona. It's just um, a bit of deter grit and determination, I think. Um, a lot more strength than Barcelona but you just look at the quality in that team and Messi can change a game without without any effort at all really it's, it's just the way he is lovely ball onto to Aubameyang Aubameyang free on goal can't poke it past the goalkeeper though oh through ball great save by the keeper top top save Looking to swing another ball in. Looks like they're going to be able to do it. Fairly weak at the back. Mats Hummels. Top save again. Goalkeeper keeping us in this so far. Chance for a counter attack now. Stopped his run. Halted. Need support. Kagawa. Out to Obama Yang. Kagawa. Oh, forcing a save there from... I presume Buffon in the uh, in the Juventus goal. Fantastic shot. Saw it late. Manages to tip it round the post. Strong header there. Saved by Buffon comfortably. However, equal at half time. Not much to talk about. Nil nil. Uh, slightly more position again. Uh, possession again on the Juventus side of things. Um, more shots for Borussia Dortmund, just not able to put it away. Shot accuracy, 100% for each. Oh! In real life, I think there will be goals in this game. I reckon there'll be more than a, more than two as well. I think it could be one of those games where it's. Each team are literally going to go for everything. Ramos in the box. Again clawed out by Buffon. How the hell are we not ahead by now? This is unbelievable. That result means that Juventus would go through. They won the uh, the home leg 2-1, I think. Five shots to three. Five of those on target. Again, 100% shot accuracy from half time. Juventus... Uh, with the most possession 
now on to our final game of the uh, of the week, which is the Premier League game that I've chosen. Uh, West Ham United are at home, I think. Yeah, West Ham United are at home to Sunderland. Seventy-four, seventy-four, seventy-two. Two very, very equal teams. Literally couldn't get any more equal in that in the areas. Cresswell. Top things from this that boy this season. He's been unbelievable. Brilliant signing. Alex Song also great loan signing for West Ham. Press well again. Into Downing, also having the season of his life there at West Ham. Song out wide. Song able to push past the defence, manages to get a ball in, misses the head of uh, Valencia there. Amel Fitano, Valencia again into the box. Sacco managed to get ahead, push past the post in the end. Ends up being a brilliant save just wide of the post. West Ham corner. On his own. Valencia can get ahead away. And he's put it away the second time. No need for goal line technology on the first attempt. But the second buried. Fantastic goal there. Deserves that from the build up of the last goal. Down to Demel. Amifitano. Able to cross it in. Onto the head of Downing. Oh! Cleared off the line in the end by the Sunderland defender. Song. Noble. Great running by Noble. Always on the overlap, that kid. He's brilliant. Song. Down in again. Demel making a run. Demel able to get it into the box. Almifitano can't bring it down. Struggling to bring it out wide. Top defending by Sunderland. Putting on the pressure. Can get the cross in, though. Deflection. And half time. 1-0 half-time score, again a very realistic result so far, um, West Ham having the better season and Enna Valencia who I think may be injured or out for this game um, has scored 70% possession all over Sunderland this game, shots on target 6-0, look at that, that is just a game and a half, 100% shot accuracy pass accuracy of 92 that is brilliant by West Ham swinging ball into the box able to get a head onto it cleared by the defence Sacco able to pull the trigger Reed Tompkins Song able to put the pressure back on can he swing a ball in he can and Sacco not able to get his head on it downing waiting at the far post Downing collects, Song again, Valencia again, free kick just on the edge of the area. Is this a chance for a free kick specialist to step up? John O'Shea committing the foul there. Let's see, Let's see who we've got. It looks like Downing could be our uh, our selection for the free kick. Left footed though, so could be difficult. Let's try and swing it just over that shorter player on the end. I'm not sure who that is. Oh, just saved by the keeper. Shame we couldn't get anybody on the end of that. He gets on that one though, and now he's on his own. Defence left behind him. Song. Not going to tramp it, and he scuffs it up. But it looks like 
A penalty has been given. It's not John O'Shea's day at all. First he gives away a free kick. And then a last, last ditch effort to get on the end of Song's shot. Five minutes of added time. 1-0 West Ham. What can Noble do from the spot? He scores. Fantastic penalty. And it looks like the game could end 2-0 West Ham. What a game. What a game. That is fantastic play by West Ham. Fully deserved. And the results are in. I think it was 1-0 Barcelona. 0-0 in the Juventus and Borussia Dortmund game. And 2-0 West Ham. Thank you for watching guys, um, I'll be back next time with more predictions, hopefully as uh, close as, as these games because it was fantastic playing these ones, so realistic and uh, we'll see how these results get on. See you soon guys, thank you, bye.